Do you have heart disease? Do you have congestive heart failure? Have you been told that you have a very high coronary calcium score? Have they run a CAT test and told you have stenosis in coronary arteries? Do you have stenosis in your aorta? Do you have atrial fibrillation? Do you have some high blood pressure? Do you or somebody you love suffer with heart conditions where the cholesterol medication and all the blood pressure medications are not reversing your condition? My name is Dr. Lonnie Hermans, and I'm gonna share with you in this video how I perform very unique exams and I'm able to find what's causing stress to one individual here that I'm working on. I've got this file in front of me. I'm gonna share with you addressing the causes of her heart condition that I am certain your cardiologist, your cardiac surgeon, your general practitioner, your internist, your rheumatologist, they are not talking about these findings. They are not discovering these. Your heart disease is not going to be reversed by following only a clean diet. Your heart disease is not gonna be reversed by taking blood pressure medication. I'm not knocking blood pressure medication. Blood pressure medication can be important to help keep you alive, but we can get to underlying causes and remove them and help you decrease and or even eliminate your blood pressure medication. Do you wanna do that? If yes, keep listening. If no, there's no reason to listen to this. If you just trust and you only wanna follow what the drug industry is telling you is right for your, your condition. Um, this patient, uh, she's in her 60s and she came in here because she had a coronary calcium uh, scan done, uh, a, a CT scan, and found that she had a pretty significant, significant coronary calcium score. And she found me online for my coronary calcium uh, program, elimination program. And um, there's just, there's so much to understand and there's so much work that needs to be done. And there are strategies to figure out, which I perform here, a very unique system of bioresonance testing with samples of parts of the heart, samples of all different kinds of infections and toxins and environmental stressors to help us determine just what's causing your chronic condition. Uh, uh, she also had anxiety, sleep disorders because of the anxiety. She has uh, a fibrillation in the heart. She had a fluttering of the heart. She has a number of things going on. In her first round of, of her evaluation, and I'm gonna go through three, four examinations in this video, but I'm gonna list these findings pretty quickly in this first part and, and get up to speed of, of some other more recent exams that really go directly to the heart. But understand that you can have a, a tooth that can disease your heart. You can have an infection in the stomach where that infection is traveling and stressing the heart. You don't have a bad heart. You don't have an incurable heart condition. You just are following a system and a belief system and strategies that are leaving you in that place of, of belief or disbelief that there's something else out there for you. In her first program, we had to clear out infections. She had Lyme infection and mold and fungus inside her, her liver. She had infections in her capillary beds. She had infection in her large intestine. That was the primary step that we went through with this patient. In the last round of, of evaluation with her, and she already noticed some lessening of stress, of, of, of just feeling more relaxed, she said, after we went through that first protocol. She came to me in the next month, and her next evaluation showed that the pericardium, the muscle, the heart tissue, where you can have infections. I've got videos up on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, and I'll put these slides, I'll put links to that video underneath this video on this YouTube channel where there are actual uh, uh, microscopic examinations that were done of heart muscle tissue that showed infection in the heart muscle. You can have bacteria, what you call like a strep throat infection. Who's to say once that strep was in the throat, it could have gone down or not say that it couldn't go down to, which it can. The strep infection can go to the heart muscle. It can infect your heart muscle. It can infect the heart valve. It can go into the aorta. It can go anywhere. Not only strep, but you can get Klebsiella bacteria. You can get chlamydia in there. You can get viruses. You can get mold and fungus and parasites. These all can go to the heart muscle, to the valves, to the aorta, to the coronary arteries. In her pericardium, we found electrical stress, EMF, electromagnetic or dirty electricity stress, stressing her heart muscle. Listen, 
you have electrical signals around you, your cell phone, your, your, your cell phone towers, your Wi-Fi signals in all the cities or most cities around the U.S. here, even in other parts of the country. You've got computers, you've got cars, you've got GPS uh, 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 navigation systems, we've got satellite television. There's just so much electricity around us that the body is not used to and will never get used to. These electrical signals are not normal human body, brain, heart functional signals. These electrical signals can be absorbed by your body and cause changes in the electrical impulses that the heart is producing, changes in the way the brain is functioning. That has been proven with extensive research. You look it up online, electromagnetic field stresses, dirty electricity, you're gonna see it, it's out there. There's also a great video on YouTube that's a free two hour documentary, I'll put the title on the screen. It's called Resonance Beings of Frequency. Excellent to watch. If you've got a great two hour period to watch that, you're gonna learn so much more of how it's affecting and damaging human tissue. So in her pericardium, we found uh, two different bacteria. One of them was a strep bacteria. I found that her hemoglobin, even though her blood tests showed normal red blood cells and normal hemoglobin, we found some stress in her hemoglobin. I found her red blood cell infected by strep bacteria. I found in this evaluation her strep, excuse me, the mercury that's in some of her teeth, which I found in a dental exam that I do, mercury inside the red blood cell. She had multiple chemicals like pesticides inside her red blood cell. She had a bacteria inside her blood cell. She had multiple parasitic infections inside invading the red blood cells. Mycoplasma bacteria at a very high level invading her blood cells the Lyme Borrelia burgdorferi bacteria invading her red blood cell. That was the main uh, relieving uh, of, uh, of, of what's harming her bloodstream, taking that out of those red blood cells was done in that protocol. I also found through further, further evaluation in that uh, exam that day that the coronary artery, there were multiple vaccine side effects and residues from vaccines in the coronary artery, causing it to be inflamed causing it to get stenosing, causing it to be narrowing, which causes it more difficult for the heart to pump the blood through a stenosed or narrowed, inflamed coronary artery. Also for her, with her anxiety, I have a, you know, there's part of the brain called the amygdala. It's within our limbic brain, our emotional, controlling emotions part of our brain, commonly where we're gonna find fear, panic, anxiety. And what I found in her, was that the amygdala needed a specific tune-up. With this work that I offer, with this work that I perform, very unique bioresonance testing using no electrical equipment, I found that her amygdala needed a tune-up. What does that mean? We can take an actual sample of the amygdala, the frequencies of the amygdala, the frequency of the amygdala, and produce a specific uh, a copy remedy of that amygdala at a specific potency. I provided that to her, it was a very strong remedy. She, <coughs> excuse me, she told me that within two weeks of taking that she noticed she has barely any more anxiety symptoms, like magic. She's been noticing ex a, a, just an amazing amount of relief of anxiety in her brain, in her experience, in her emotions. Now, the next examination that I did, this is examination number three with this patient. Already experiencing less fluttering in the chest, already experiencing less, uh, uh, much less, much improvement with the anxiety, emotion that she's been dealing with. She said, I still feel like there's a fluttering though. I still feel like there's some stress in my chest. And I told her, look, we're only two visits in. There's no way that we could remove all the decades. And you're not old, but you know, we've been around on this planet a few decades. Um, that there's, there, there's gotta be time of cleanup in the system. There's no magic pill, no magic vitamin that's gonna just take it all away, all at once. I don't have a magic wand to just you know, tap you on top of your head like a, like, a, like, a, you know, like a genie and make it all disappear. In this third exam, it was very interesting. Uh, we have a way, I have a way of actually telling and, and, and testing and finding what is the primary stress tissue in the human body. And that exam on that day with that patient. And what I found with her, and this is really amazing, I found her left ventricle. You have a right ventricle, you have a left ventricle in the heart. Fills up with blood, pushes the blood over to the other ventricle, that fills up with blood, and then that ejects out to the blood vessel to go into the brain and the body. That's how the heart works. We fill up a ventricle, 
that sends it over to another ventricle or a hole, an open cavity in the chest. We have a left ventricle, we have a right ventricle. The left ventricle, get this, when that left ventricle is not able to function appropriately, and she said, I have right ventricular hypertrophy, Dr. Herman. This is what my, my heart scans have shown. So her left ventricle showed, I know I said right ventricle there of hypertrophy, but we found in her body, and may come up with right ventricle next time in this exam, we found her left ventricle was the priority tissue that needed help, not her right ventricle. In her left ventricle, causing stress to the heart muscle, causing the heart not to be functioning appropriately, causing more strain, causing high blood pressure, causing chest pain possibly, causing uh, uh, AFib. Here's what we found. Residues and side effects from multiple vaccinations, from tetanus shots, from DPT shots, from the MMR vaccine, toxic mold infection inside her left ventricle, antibiotic residues called sulfonamides, sulfonamide antibiotic chemicals inside the left ventricle tissue, herpes zoster virus, cytomegalovirus, rubella virus, adenovirus, Epstein-Barr virus inside the left ventricle tissue. Viruses in that tissue causing stress to the tissue. Your tissue can't work appropriately when it's got infection and toxin and viruses in the tissue. That should not, that you should be, that should be easy for you to grasp. Listen, if you had a herpes zoster getting a shingles breakout on the body, if you've ever experienced somebody with that, or you ever had that experience or you know somebody who has, it's a very painful experience. Imagine that inside the heart, not just on an arm or the rib cage or the back. She had tobacco smoke. She didn't smoke before, but she could be around people who've been smoking and absorb secondhand smoke and that tobacco smoke was found inside the left ventricle. Herpes simplex in the left ventricle. She found, we found candida, I found, excuse me, candida glabrata inside that left ventricle. She had another kind of mold that I found in there, a very long scientific term. I don't have to impress you or confuse you with that term. I found different recreational drug chemicals inside her left ventricle. Some people are clean now, but they had a life 20, 30, 40 years ago. Not had a life, but they experimented, let's say, in the 70s or the 60s, they tried things. Epstein-Barr virus, again, I showed a parvovirus house dust mold inside the left ventricle, a mold called wrinkle, R-N-K-L, wrinkle A inside that left ventricle, the Borrelia burgdorferi line bacteria inside her left ventricle, a parasite called tinea inside the left ventricle, phthalate chemicals that come from perfumes and vinyl flooring and a number of nail uh, polish hardening chemicals. Women go in to get their nails done and they're smelling all these fumes these phthalate chemicals have been linked to endocrine disorders, to nervous system disorders, to cardiovascular disorders. Other vaccination chemicals found in the left ventricle, mycoplasma bacteria. Mycoplasma is very harmful bacteria. Some of these are very deadly. Inside the left ventricle, I found other uh, 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 gut infections refluxing up to the left ventricle. We found candida tropicalis inside her left ventricle. That's already a second candida infection inside that left ventricle, stressing that left ventricle. We found nanobacteria inside her left ventricle. These are known to also cause calcification deposits, nanobacteria. I found mercury dimethyl methyl chloride, this harmful, poisonous mercury chemical inside her left ventricle. I also found the mumps virus at a very low level inside her left ventricle. Let me count those up for you. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 28 harmful chemicals and infections inside that left ventricle causing it to be stressed and not function appropriately. You bring this information up in front of your cardiovascular specialist in front of a cardio surgeon, they're gonna look at it like it's quackery, that it's strange, I, I get it, great. You stay on your blood pressure medications, you believe what they're telling you, and, and it's your right to do so. For those of you who really wanna get to the root of what's causing your heart condition, for those of you who really wanna get rid of your congestive heart disease, you have to choose 
to step out of the box and look at other options. And all of this is working for people, and it just makes complete sense. She'll be taking these remedies over the next uh, 20 or so days. I get to see her again on day 24 to reevaluate and see what's next in her tissue. Now, let me talk to you about heart disease and dental infection and dental chemicals connected to the heart. Also this week on today, August 14th of 2015, she hired me to further study her body and do uh, a unique dental examination that I've developed. I've got a very unique skill with examining the teeth and seeing if the teeth are connected to a heart disease or a thyroid disease or diabetes or neuropathy in the body or headaches or a number of different disorders that can occur in the body. And I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teeth in her mouth are connected to heart stress. I found all of her gums to be infected with bacteria and they, they are not bleeding these gums. The dentist tells her her mouth looks okay, looks fine. The crowns that are in her mouth, I found, have Lyme infection. She has one, two, three, four, five, six crowns. I believe that was six. These are crowns, yeah. Six crowns in the mouth, they are infected. They have bacteria, excuse me, the Lyme Borrelia burgdorferi bacteria. They have multiple parasitic infections underneath these crowns, and they look perfect, these crowns in her mouth. They look so clean, they look like nice white teeth. She's got uh, parasitic flukes under there, and she's also got mercury amalgam underneath the crown. The crown is a metal crown. These metal crowns become antennas. They are receivers for all the electrical stress around, and that all, every one of those teeth that I just mentioned are reflexing down to the heart. They are causing disease in the heart. If she's willing to, and hopefully she will be, We've got to be able to go through the next steps that are going to cost some dollars for her to get to the right dentist who I can send her to, to remove these crowns, clean those teeth the right way, and put on crowns that are only porcelain, that have no metal underneath and no metal part of the crown. When you look at a crown and you see uh, the, the silver so-called or metal uh, ring around the tooth at the gum line, we know that's metal, and that becomes an antenna sticking right out of the mouth, receiving electrical signals from the car, from the phone, from everything. So I found multiple teeth that have mineral deficiencies in them. We can just tell there's infection, there's toxin in the mouth, and these teeth are connected to the heart disease. You have a tooth that's hidden because the tooth doesn't hurt, and your dentist, who doesn't know enough, even though they are the dental specialist, as you trust, and they're on your insurance plan, and you know them for 20 years, that dentist may just not have the wisdom that your teeth can be connected to a disease in your body. And since the tooth doesn't hurt, you think everything is okay. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not true. You can have hidden infections and toxins in your teeth that are causing, or one of the main causes of your heart condition, of your prostate condition, of your ovary condition, of any condition in your body, okay? I'm here to help you reverse your heart disease decrease and even eliminate your medications, call my clinic, 954-370-3100. Subscribe on my YouTube channel. Share this video with just one friend. Like me on my Facebook page. You're going to keep hearing different, unique information. And let me tell you something, there is a way for you to reverse your disease heart disease and others. Let's step out of the box and get into getting into an offensive position so we can remove these offenders and really start knocking them off and start taking charge of our health and our life. 954-370-3100. I look forward to helping you.